Shorai means the future, and we make the world's lightest, longest-lasting power sports batteries with exclusive lithium LFX extreme rate technology. First, don't throw away the box or any of the foam packaging until after installation is complete. Please also be sure to read the included user's guide for cautions and information on care and charging. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench or a number 3 Phillips screwdriver to install the LFX battery, possibly scissors, and whatever tools are needed to remove and reinstall bodywork and to access the battery box. Our example bike today is the 2010 BMW G450X. The factory installed lead acid battery in this motorcycle is UASA's YTZ7S. The Shorai High Performance Replacement for the stock battery is our LFX09A2 BS12. The LFX09 weighs 3.3 pounds less than the original YTZ7S. That's 1.5 kilograms, or about 73% lighter. It also has less than one-sixth the self-discharge rate and cranks the engine about 20% faster. Your user guide, included with every battery, lists the contents of the package. Check now to be sure everything is there. To get started, first we'll remove the original lead-acid battery from your vehicle according to the maker's guidelines. Be sure to remove the negative terminal bolts and cables first and secure the cables, then the positive. That avoids the possibility of shorting from positive to grounded vehicle parts. Now compare the original battery side by side with your new LFX battery. Check that the LFX battery doesn't exceed the size of the original in any dimension, length, width, and height. Here you can see that the LFX battery is identical in length to the original battery behind it, which is often the case. And here you can see that the two are very close in width, but the LFX is a bit shorter. We've used one sheet each of the 5mm and 10mm thick spacer foam to make up the height difference. The included self-adhesive foam spacers are sized, as shown here. So, in this case, we only needed to shim the height. Now let's trim the selected spacers to fit the battery with scissors. Also check the small picture at the top right. It shows a nice install tip. You can cut small sections from the 5mm foam pieces to the same size as the terminal nuts and stick the, them on the nut bottoms. This helps keep the nuts in place during install and up high where they can catch the bolt threads. The G450X has a truncated battery box floor so we've trimmed to fit the diagonal shape, then applied the sticky side of the spacers to the battery box as shown below. The LFX batteries can bolt cable eyelets to either the top or front sides of the terminals. This time be sure to install the positive terminal cable first, then the negative to avoid short circuits. To tighten the terminal screws we recommend the use of a number 3 Phillips screwdriver as this allows you to apply downward pressure on the terminal screw. That helps the threads catch and reduces torque on the terminals. Check that the positive terminal of the LFX battery can't short against any part of the vehicle and be sure that the original positive terminal cover, if any, is reinstalled on the LFX battery before the battery box cover is fitted. Now check out those weight savings. That's nice. LFX batteries are pre-charged to approximately 90% of capacity, so it's not required or even generally recommended that the batteries be charged before use in your vehicle. The battery will fully charge during the first ride after install.